The reason I've invited all my editors here is because our paper, like any great newspaper in America, would like to increase circulation. But I own this paper, and I'd like to take the high road in our reporting. Whether it's articles on the so-called Night Stalker, with pictures of blood on the walls, or the investigation of the Union official's murder with a stake driven through his heart. I think it would be better to focus on the police work involved rather than the sensational details to sell papers. That's really all I have to say. Excuse me if I'm wrong, but did you just chide me for increasing our readership by 20%? Is that what I did? Don't worry, I think I can find a balance between selling papers and responsible journalism. Would you like to come over? We can make it a working dinner. Sure. Lily, I'm surprised to see you here. Why? I live here. Oh, I didn't mean to disturb you two. I just thought the roses would look quite beautiful there. Thanks. Today is full of surprises. Lily and I have lived here a long time. It's her home as well as mine. We're friends and business associates. But we're no longer lovers. Because of me? It's complicated. Are we still off for dinner? Would you like to take my car? How would I get to work in the morning? I didn't mean it that way. You're staying over. I meant my car would be here. I didn't take it that way. But I know what you mean. I hate this thing of two cars. I'll, I'll meet, meet you, you there. there. You're not going to have to grow up the way I did. Uh-uh. I'm going to take care of you and love you, and I'll never leave you. Now, you're not going to have a daddy while you're growing up, but I'm going to be your mommy and daddy both. Mom says I should give you up to a real family. Well, I've got news for her. Hmm? We are a real family. Just you and me, kid. Jesse, here. Come on. <laughs> oh. Mommy knows what she wants. I'll be right back. Stop! That's my baby!
we have a lot in common, Frank. Cops and reporters. Look, just do me a favor, okay? Save the philosophy till I have my second cup of coffee. Oh, when we're busy, there's murders and mayhem, and uh, when we're poor, we're waiting around for something terrible to happen. Scram, go get your scoop someplace else, lady. You gotta help me. He took my baby. Who took your baby? He was horrible looking. He grabbed my baby. I tried to run after him, but before I could catch him, he was gone. These people you say took your baby, not people. Excuse me? His eyes weren't normal. They were like a lizard's with this burning. He was a monster. Where did this happen? Golden Gate Park, by the lake. I'm afraid there is no dessert. Depends on what you call dessert. Look, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't, it's me. Uh, Okay. Uh, you know, I want you to know the truth about me. I, um, I can't be your lover. I can't be anyone's lover. I get to this certain stage in a relationship and I just freeze up. <sighs> Damn. I have to get this. You've, uh, got the best part of me in the news hound. Hello? Kidnapped baby? Oh, a bald monster, a ghostly face, weird blazing eyes? That sounds like any one of us on a, a deadline. Oh, okay, Maison, write it out. This is what you call a story. No hair, completely bald. A and his ears were longer. They were pointed. Yeah, that's it. And his eyes were green slits. A monster stole my baby. What do you say, Frank? Just one of those stories no one's ever going to believe. That's your take, too, Sonny. Do you believe she just happened to be walking by that lake carrying her baby? You got a point. Besides, we put an APB out for monsters in the park, and people will think we're crazy. I'm losing the stomach for this. Finish taking her statement, check out her story. Officially, she's a witness to a kidnapping. And unofficially? Suspect in the disappearance of her own baby. Those eyes, Sonny, I've seen them. Just like she describes. I hate to see you doing this to yourself, man. Don't think they won't throw you off the force, Frank. They will. I'm gonna go visit my buddy, Julian Luna. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. It's Goth. He's returned. It can't be. He was banished years ago. Take away the fangs, the claws, the reptilian eyes. Yes, you can still recognize Goth. He must have done blood ritual. He's reverted to our primitive form. Julian, you should have killed Goth when you had the chance. It was won. His life is forfeit. Frank recognized Kindred. He's asked to meet with me. What about your lieutenant? Well, the girls are suspects, so we're okay for the time being. When they don't find a baby, they'll start looking for monsters. Exactly. What about Camilla? Archon's right. Where this goth, Camilla can't be far behind. And if she's joined him in blood ritual, she may also have reverted to our savage form. If humans come across them, they will be killed. All right. I'll send Cash and his gang girls to track them. We've got to recover that baby. Or well, what's left of it? We've got a clan. The Nosferatu, very ancient and cunning. When they become savage, they're more dangerous than any other kindred. They took a baby. Doesn't that register with you? Of course. I'll return the baby and destroy the one who took it. No, no, that's my job. Kindred can't just take a child and not be subject to my laws. We're on the same side, Frank. All I'm asking you for is time to let me bring back that baby. How do you know this kid's not halfway to Canada by now? Look, they have unique powers that enable them to disappear. Chances are they're in a haven near where the baby was taken. 
I don't rest till I find this kid and the kindred that took him. Now, I want a name. You want his name? Goth. Does that help you? Even if I could tell you where he is, you'd never find him. And even if you did, he'd kill you. That's just a fact. So all these stories about vampires stealing babies and draining their blood are true? Throughout human history, there are unspeakable atrocities, just as there are for kindred. I'm trying to keep you alive, Frank. I'm going to find this guy, Goth, with or without your help. I hope for your sake you don't. Do you think you should go against Julian again? Now that he's made the peace and all the clans support him. They won't support him long. I'm stronger than I was. We'll drink the blood together. Together, we'll bring back the power of the Nosferatu. You know, I signed off on the story, the pictures of the girl and the baby, but not this. Well, it's a bona fide police sketch. Why wouldn't you want to print it? Of a monster. You want to put a picture of a monster on the front page? Well, it's relevant to the case. What if somebody really did take her baby? Caitlin Byrne? Oh, Ruth. I'm Caitlin. Uh, thank you for coming down. I'm very sorry about your baby. I know that everything is being done to find her. What is this? Whether a monster stole her baby or the mother is the monster that killed her own child. Some of the police don't believe your story. But I'm telling the truth. That's why you're here. The more people read your story in the paper, the greater the likelihood someone will come forward with information. Please sit down. You uh, said it was a monster. Maybe it was a... A street person in a Halloween mask. No. I'm telling you, he wasn't human. Could the father have anything to do with it? My father hasn't had anything to do with me in years. No, the baby's father. Oh, him. Uh, he moved away. I see. He told me he loved me. I told him I was pregnant. That was the last time I heard from him. My mom and dad, even my best friend, insisted that I get rid of my baby. But I stuck to my guns. And I had her. And Jesse was the best thing that ever happened to me. And now they're accusing me of killing my own baby. How can they even think of such a thing? Oh, my God. How can I live without her? I'm going to help you find your baby. I see all the primogen are present. Except, of course, for the Bruja. Any word on when they'll name their new primogen? When the fighting stops and the dust settles. All right, let's talk about the mother and the baby. We can't find Goth or Camilla. Our trackers are still out. Keep looking. When the moon is full, the baby will be sacrificed. And there's less than 30 hours to go till that full moon rises. From the ancient times of the Druids, the sacrificing of human babies, the use of blood rites in the black arts have given enormous power. 
Talk within the clan is that Goth would like to use the lure of the old ways to convince the Nosferatu to rise up against you. Stealing human babies? Reenacting ancient blood rites? This would shatter the masquerade be the end of all of us. Gather all the Nosferatu, warn them of Goth's plan. Tell them if the masquerade is broken, they'll be hunted down in every hiding place where they now survive. I'll understand that they have an exquisitely practical nation. Not to mention a savage one. We may already be beyond words, but I'll try. Where do we go from here? Your place of mine. Sasha, stay away from that gang. Surprised to see all your brouhaha out in the open. I don't imagine you gang girls are too upset about Eddie and his bodyguards being blown away. Yeah, it's too bad about Eddie. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. You sure you want to be seen with me? Don't do that, Cash. Don't do that to us. You did it when you ended it. To me, you're just another brouhaha. Isn't that what you said, Sasha? Sasha, wait. Why? What is there left to say? I don't have any time left to play games with you. I don't care about the blood between us. You love me and I love you, and that's just the way it is. They're sending you to hunt down Gaw. I'll be okay. I do love you. From the time of the Inquisition, we were hunted down, tortured, burned alive by humans who feared us. Who called us monsters? When the Nosferatu joined with the other clans to maintain the masquerade, we were able to live peacefully out of sight of humans below ground. God. Look at you. Living in Julian's basement? Julian's butler? No better than a worm. You think you can just walk in here into my own haven? Fools! Listen, he calls you fools. Don't be tempted by Goth. He's given himself up to the forces we as Nosferatu have spent millennia struggling against. The very forces which give us our power. See Goth for what he is. The fallen one. The rogue. Letting himself be dragged down by his own horror. He'll drag you down with him. In ancient times, the other clans feared us. Now we have become their henchmen. I kiss no one's ring, least of all Julian Luna's. Look at yourselves, shivering in the blackness of your own fear. We allowed the Ventru to live above ground, to become bankers and politicians so that we could maintain power. Now. A thousand years later, ask yourselves, where are we? Kowtowing to businessmen in suits, scuttling in the shadows. With my alchemy and blood rites, I can restore you to your ancient power. The Nosferatu can rule as we once ruled.
What are you doing? Following me? Yeah. What are you doing here? What do you think I'm doing? I'm looking for my baby. We've already been through here with helicopters. Infrared scanners, search and rescue dogs, everything. You don't believe me. You're just like everybody else. Look, I don't think you killed your baby. When you came into the police station the other night, I believed you. I knew you were telling the truth. When's the last time you had something to eat? Come on. I'm ashamed of my own clan. And I'll surrender to will not support me. I'll kill Goth. That will settle this. I can't let you do that, Daedalus. The Nosferatu would tear each other apart. I won't let Goth bring back the horror. I was wrong to spare Goth. It's time I rectify that. At least let me go with you. You'd be defying your own clan, Daedalus. I would gladly give up my role as Primogen to be at your side. I have to go now. Goth gains strength from the full moon. If it comes to a battle, keep his back to the moon. That will diminish his powers. I'll remember. Julian, share a glass of wine with me. Whatever happens, I want you to know. I've always admired you. I consider you my closest friend. She's not finished. All right, all right. I wasn't going to take it. Don't arrest me. So you got your baby, honey. You're trying to get close to me, so I'll admit to killing my baby. Just eat your fries. Set of those glowing eyes, it's kind of like they're reading your mind. You knew they were out there. You knew it and didn't tell anyone? And now my baby's gone? Just keep it down, okay? Now, I told people just like you did. But guess what? Nobody bought it. Now, do you think if I told you yesterday that these creatures really existed, that you would have believed me? No. Every minute that goes by, she could be farther away. I don't know where to look anymore. I'm gonna find Jesse. You're not the venture gunman anymore, Julian. All those times Archon sent you to do the dirty work are over. Now you're Prince. You've got a duty to survive. I will. We need you. How can you love this human woman? It'll pass. You know, there was a time when you only told me the truth. Do you want me to move out? No, this is your home as well as mine. I've located the Vernassic stones. Good, where? Goth wrecked them in a remote clearing in the park. So they'll have to come out of hiding to perform the ritual. Yes, but any human who comes across them would be killed. 
baby issue, all right? We don't know. So where is this clearing? In the park near the Palace of Fine Arts. Good job, Cash. Go north from the lake until you find the waterfall. Their haven must be nearby. As always, we stand in the midst of the old and the new. On ancient ones like Goth, the phosphorus gun may not be enough. You may need to separate him from his head. Even if you have the weapons to defeat him, Julian, how on earth are you going to find him? I'm not. He's gonna find me. $25,000? Yeah, reward for information leading to the recovery of the baby. Oh, that's that's very generous. <laughs> I, let's just call it good publicity for the club. Well, that calls for some wine. Ooh, this sounds good. <laughs> I didn't mean to intrude when I saw you with Julian. Well, that's no big deal. I hope red's okay. Oh, I only drink red. Well, you're a very good homemaker. Thanks, it's a, it's a hobby of mine. Thank you. I'm really happy for you and Julian. Are you? Let me make something clear. Julian and I were lovers a long time ago. We're good friends now. That's all. I care for him very deeply, and I want what's best for him. I can tell you want that, too. Yes, very much. So, uh, why did you two break up? Mm. Well, you know. All the wrong reasons, petty jealousies, him just, well, <laughs> you know, just being a man. And they call us the mysterious sex. <laughs> exactly. Mm. <gasps> Have you two made love? That's very direct. I'm sorry, that was really rude of me. I forget myself sometimes. I feel so close to you, like we're connected somehow. The answer is, uh, no, not yet. I didn't mean to pry. I guess I just need more time to trust him, to trust myself. It's, uh, it's been a long time for me. When it's time, believe me. It's like riding a bike, you never forget. Easy now. <laughs> mm. You're gonna be a hero, Caitlin. You're gonna go off and find that baby. And when you come across Garth and Camilla, please give them my regards. And after they open up your throat, please relay my everlasting gratitude. Now, you'll go north of the lake until you get to the waterfall. Are you sure this is where you heard your baby? The first time. The other times were down there. Where'd you park your car? Uh, up there. I went and got a bottle and he grabbed her. This way? I don't know. I'm really turning around. Come on, come on, let's just keep going. It's gonna be dark soon. You go north of the lake until you get to the waterfall.
You recognize the ancient stones of Vernassus? Give back the baby goth. <laughs> you have no power here. I've got this. Kill me and you'll never find the human baby. Take me instead of the baby. How noble. I don't deal with thin true slime. First, you'll witness the sacrifice of the human baby, and then you'll become a part of it. <laughs> I rule, it won't be with conclaves. It will be with this. I am Kindred, Clan Nosferatu. My name is Camilla. Are you human? No. But I am part of nature. Like you. Please don't hurt the baby. Is the baby yours? No. But her mother's a friend of mine. She's very worried about her baby. In our world, a child is the most precious thing. Maybe that's because we are unable to have them. How sad. Before I was embraced, I had eight. You were human once? Yes. Two died at childbirth. We had them back then to work in the fields. But I love the whole cycle. Fertility, birthing, a baby suckling at my breast. Make me feel so ashamed. I gave mine away. Your baby? I was 17. The same age as this little girl's mom. Boy told me I was beautiful and that he loved me. That he was gone. There I was, alone and pregnant. I guess I just wanted somebody to love me. Why would you give away your child? I was scared. And my family pressured me. They uh, convinced me that I'd be bad for my own baby. I have been so careful not to open up. And the only thing that ever really mattered to me, I gave away. Leave this burden you've carried and all memories of tonight here with me. Rest now. We'll do you good. That's the Camilla I used to know. Who's that? It's Julian. Prince Julian. Hello, Camilla. In chains. Goth captured you. I allowed him to. 
This blood sacrifice of Goss is wrong. You can't stand by and see that baby killed any more than I can. We must go through with this sacrifice. It is the way of the Nosferatu. You, Ventru, have taken away enough of our powers. It's time we reclaim them. But you have me now. You don't need the baby. What are you saying? I'll be your sacrifice, Camilla. You can let the baby go. We're not savages, Camilla. We can't allow the slaughter of innocents. Your life instead of the baby's. Yes. Goth would never agree to it. If you let the baby go, Camilla, you'll have no choice. We've looked everywhere, Ruth. We should probably call it a night. No, my baby's here somewhere. I can feel it. How can humans give up their children and then turn around and call us monsters? It's easier to point fingers. It's time. I know. When she grows up, she'll have a touch of the wild. I'm not so good at this. Mm -hmm. Savor it. traded his life for the child's. His life isn't worth it! Did you think I'd back off just because you're Prince? I only thought of the child. Spoken like a real Ventru. Clan of the human lackeys. The moon, Prince Julian, it beckons. Of course, the power you gain by sacrificing a prince is nothing compared to the power you gain by defeating one. With or without weapons. Let fate decide.
Julian. What are you doing here? The police called me. They found you unconscious in the park. After they rescued the baby. I, uh... I don't know what happened. I... I, uh... got this idea in my head that I knew where the baby was. That's all I remember. I need you close to me. It's all right. It's been a long night. No. I should go, Caitlin. No, no, you, you don't understand. Somehow with you, I, I've been able to do something I was so afraid to do. What's that? Let someone in.